Hi, welcome to Fidgety Fingers, I'm Rubix and this video is all about slightly non-traditional or very non-traditional Rubik's Cubes or Magic Cubes. If you're looking how to solve them, this is not the video for it because most of these I don't know how to solve. But they're great for fidgeting with and there's all sorts of different shapes, different designs and I personally find them far more interesting than a standard Rubik's Cube. I've had to split this video down into multiple parts because it was getting long. So please check the links in the description for other videos. So first up we have a gear cube. If you look at it, okay, you can see that there's gears. I really like watching the gears move. I think it provides interesting tactile feedback. A bit rattly if you're trying to fidget with it. So you can end up with the gears in, but you can also lock yourself out. They're uh, very, very interesting visually and personally I find it stimulates a lot of the senses. Next we've got one with more sides. Really smooth, very quiet. Kind of like just the end pieces turn. I love how quiet this is. You could fidget with this and not disturb anybody. Next, this one is the same shape as this one, but whereas this one, all of the pieces on the end are even, this one, they're uneven, so the way it turns is different. It turns more like a traditional cube. But if you line it up wrong, you then can't turn it at all. This one was a key ring, but I took the key ring off. It's very smooth, very quiet. But if you're doing it just by feel, it's sometimes hard to get everything lined up and you end up not able to turn. But with a bit of practice, you find that you're able to. Next one, another one that was a key ring. I wish I could take that off, I find it annoying. This one's slightly different from the others. Rather than get all of the col same colour on one side, with this one the aim is to get ev um, one of every different colour on each side. I really like the feel of this, the fact that all the pieces are round makes it very, very interesting to hold. I find it more interesting tactically. Uh, sorry, tactile ten, uh, sensation wise, than a standard Rubik's 3x3. Three three. Just simply because there's a bit of shape to the pieces. So this one, I'm going to have to insert a picture of what it looked like before I mixed it up. Um, it had a load of uneven pieces it feels a bit flimsy. In fact, on video, that just broke off. I 
I'm not going to try and play it. Uh, I'll show a picture of what it looked like. Um, it's cheap quality. I think you can find better than that. I totally forgot to say, if you want to see a video on more traditional shape Rubik's Cubes, check out the link below.